in vaping news. I love vaping. Dude, love it. I'm just kidding, I don't vape at all. Have you vaped before? <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Yeah. I've never vaped before. Oh, really? It's like hookah. Is it just like a big cloud machine? Yeah. Cause I see the biggest fucking clouds when people blow it out. Yeah, it looks dope. Yeah. It just looks fun. I don't know, that shit looks stupid. Do you remember <laughs> when vaping wasn't illegal everywhere because people didn't know what it was? Yeah, and, and they were just, just like, like, oh, that smells good. Yeah. yeah, so like I was able to do that, poker tables, everywhere. Oh. Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. Is it illegal now? Well, it's illegal, like, it has the same laws as cigarette oh. smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, vaping to me is just like the same shit, like I say about magicians, dude. Yeah, I mean, like, they come up to you, they're like, like you wanna see something? <laughs> like, fuck out of my face, dude. Some of that shit's crazy where they can make a tornado. Or they fucking like, like, That's old school now. Or they blow now. like a bunch of donuts and one flies through that's the middle. That's old. It's even crazier now. Really? Yeah. Yeah. They'll be fucking blowing carousels and shit. Yeah. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I see it once. I'm pretty much done though. I follow this one guy just for it because it's you so, follow a vape like, tricks guy. Yeah, because it's just so satisfying to watch. What does he blow? A fucking railroad truck with a choo-choo train going Basically, across it? Basically, yeah. He Damn. gets so high. He has like, like millions of followers. Dude, you know Noah's brother is a sponsored vape. Trick guy. What? They make these videos to music and shit. Like, is it all done? Really? <laughs> it does sound I'll very show you once we cut. And then I didn't know what no. the designs that they can make. It's crazy. And then they put it into fucking bubbles and all this shit. And like, it's fucking nuts. <laughs> it yeah. does sound like they get beat up too, though. As well, they should. <laughs> Submitted by Mudda Ding Dong. Mudda Ding Dong. <laughs> Uh, the <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? Like I mean, you guys jumped right on that, and I was like, I was so confused even reading it. All right, the e-cigarette brand Juul can no longer sell fruity flavored products in stores after an FDA crackdown. Oh my god, that makes so much sense because little kids gonna pick that up and be like, Let's smoke this. they have been. It's like, a big thing in high school right now, right? And middle school. What? Yeah, that's a good thing though because I remember when I was in high school, I smoked a Marlboro Red when I was like 15 or 16 for the first time, and like I thought I was gonna look all cool, like about the smoke this and stuff and I was like <coughs> this is so fucking nasty but if somebody had handed me that and I could still like do the smoke and everything but it was fruity I probably would have kept smoking. In high school it was all about the milds. The black and milds? No the marble milds. Oh. You can collect miles and then send it in and then you could get like jackets or things. My uncle has oh, all really? that shit. Swisher Sweets smells so nice. Like, you like my jacket mm -hmm. with my lung cancer? Black and mild Swisher Sweets they all smell so good. Oh yeah they smell really good. It's like brown sugar. Oh it's like I want to Eat it. I was like, yo, somebody fucking smoke a switch so I can sniff that shit. Mm -hmm. I just miss Black and Miles because it reminds me of like my party phase, like when I was in Virginia, like when we were like 18, 19, like yeah. everybody just drinking, everybody smoking stuff, you know, like, like oh, let's light up a Black and Mild. Like, that's like mm. sentimental to me. This just reminds me of a I like story. to use it to roll blunts with. Everybody did. They just took the tobacco out. You never really smoked the black mile. Yeah. Some people did. Mm -hmm. In Virginia, we had that doo doo weed. Mm -hmm. We had that that headache weed. Uh, <laughs> that doo doo. It was ditch weed. You guys had ditch weed. Mm -hmm. Does Isaac's friends got vapes and stuff? I don't know. I want to. You should ask, ask him. him. Yeah. But I mean, he's still in elementary school. Oh, he's not middle school yet. No. Next year he will be. Ooh, he's gonna be a big kid. Yeah. So know. they're saying that nearly 12 percent of high school students and three percent of middle school uh, middle school medical students <laughs> middle school. <laughs> Tongue in the middle of that sentence. Ow. Uh, I'm a medical Jewel. doctor. They're using Jewel, which is this this vaping yeah. device. Oh, that, that, looks looks cool. like, that looks like a USB Tommy. drive. They're calling it the Apple of vape products. Oh. How much are they? Yeah. I'm not sure. Because yeah, it's invented like, by a guy that wears a turtle next to. And they have three times as much as nicotine yeah. as other. Oh, because they're gonna they're gonna get you hooked. They know yeah. what they're doing. Exactly. Well, I think it's supposed to be like for people that don't want to smoke cigarettes that's and don't want, so then they take know. one hit and then, or, or two and then that's it. You're not supposed to sit there and puff it all day. It says here an alternative for adult smokers. So it's like to help people <sighs> like wean off of it. Uh. Yeah, to wean off of it. But because of all these flavors like mango and fruit medley. And how do you wean sure. off of it if there's three times the nicotine? Exactly. Yeah. Right? I know okay. all my friends are like, yeah, I quit smoking. I was like, not really, bro. Like you're fucking sucking on that shit all fucking day, dude. Like we're talking just. <laughs> they should just say I quit smelling like shit. Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's oh, like, yeah, used to yeah it's like I quit tobacco, but they're still doing nicotine. Yeah. That's so true though. I can't stand the smell of cigarettes. And your yeah. breath is nasty. Your Ooh. hand that you hold. Oh, Oh really yeah, nasty. it's so bad. Yeah, like a lot of, of people it. are saying that the reason why they they're doing the they're jeweling it up is because it's so discreet, it doesn't smell, and it just it gives them the hit that they need. I think it makes it easier to it continue does. nicotine. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But without 
Maybe the health effects of the lung smoke damage. Yeah. yeah, but there's no studies that. Combustible cigarettes. Yeah, there's yeah. no long term studies. We don't know. Yeah, because when I was um, smoking vape and shit, like, I hear like a, like a sizzle, right? And it, it to me it looks like like oil like it is oil, it's oil like burning. it's oil burning. So I'm like, what's worse, like oil burning or just tobacco leaves burning? Oil oh. burning sounds worse, right? And then oil, because oil sticks to your lungs. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then they're saying now that. Um, so first of all, Juul, they have 75% of the e-cigarette market. Wow. Just started in like 2015. Good for them. So they just got a <laughs> fuck ton of, you know, of users. And so now they're saying that they're gonna halt their like promoting on Instagram and on Facebook. I get none of those ads. Man. That's good. That's good, because you're not exploring cigarettes. But they still have to stop selling fruity flavored. Yeah, because the FDA demanded for them to submit documents about its marketing and research and what it and how they are marketing to young people because it's illegal to make uh, you know tobacco products look cool and like seem like attractive to the younger mm. viewer. Is that why Marvel has to stick to cowboys and stuff? Well, that's the thing. So for to the tobacco they industry, they can't do it at all. Like yeah. that's illegal. Oh. But for e-cigarettes, they have like a whole nother type of like loopholes like that they can get area. through because it's not Technically, like. Well, what are the flavors? Like puberty pomegranate. No mango. So, like, <laughs> there's like creme brulee. Like all these these other fruits. Tardy tangerine. They're gonna stop providing those flavors to brick and mortar places, and then for online orders, they're gonna have additional steps to verify age because they don't oh, do we that. Don't get through that, that shit don't yeah. work. Yeah. Verifying age. If I want to smoke, I've been I'll 45 smoke. since I was 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of vape stuff too where you can get no nicotine or you can choose the amount of nicotine that's in there but i don't know about the jewel I thing i never i never i don't think jewel one. has that because like one of the bigger things too that they've announced is that they're going to try to come up with products that have less nicotine but their amount of nicotine is three yeah but the fact that they put that level. three times amount and y'all know that nicotine is the thing that gets people addicted it's like i know what y'all are doing exactly and it's like even if it started out as like i want to like you know get people to stop smoking and oh this is kind of a cool thing well then they started realizing oh shit we making money by like marketing it this they don't want people to stop smoking they want people to stop smoking and they want people to buy their products. Yeah. Same with the patch yeah. industry. Yeah. They they want people to stop smoking so they could buy their patches. Yeah, and they, and they don't ever want you to stop using yeah. the patch. It's like, like secretly. Exactly. It's like don't smoke fucking chew tobacco. Here, use this instead. Does the patch feel good? Have you guys ever tried the patch? No, but it's I read I I saw the contents. Yeah. It's a lot. Like it's fucking a like I I saw a pack, right? Like like that's like people who smoke like packs of cigarettes oh. a day. Like, yeah, it's a lot of nicotine. You know, it would be cool though if they had like like if they actually wanted people to stop smoking and you could sell a fuckload of these. If you were like, hey, we're gonna sell you a program, you have six months or twelve months to stop smoking and it would slowly wean you down or something. If they ran a bunch of tests on that and sold it like that, but they want you to keep smoking it like past a year. Dude, I wish I wasn't addicted to ice cream, man. That shit gets me, dude. I've been walking by ice cream stores, I start itching. Mm. It's bad, dude. I fucking love yeah, ice cream. Adam, back to the stuff. They found out that ages 15. Uh, we're gonna go back to ice cream. Ages 15 to 24. Are addicted to ice cream. That are using <laughs> Juul. Yeah. They did not know that it contained, or 19% of them didn't know that it contained nicotine at all. What the fuck did it think it had? Candy? Yeah, they're just, they didn't know at all. They, they kind of deserve the stoke smoke. Started. They're fucking stupid. There's like so many kids that are using this. 24 is not a kid, and if you didn't know there was nicotine in there, you're a fucking dumbass. I just, oh man, dude, this sucks. I, I don't even know, as like as a parent, my kids start just like vaping and shit. I just gotta ask him, like, why? Well, it's also psych. Um, the problem that people have to deal with is more of a like psychological problem than anything because the nicotine leaves your body in 48 hours. It's completely out. So your body's only going through withdrawals through um, the brain. It's like gambling, right? Like gambling, it, there's no real like biological effect that the gambling does. Like it's not that, it's what it's how your brain gets pleasure from the gambling. Mm. And then so the nicotine chemical is gone within 48 hours, but then your mind is now so conditioned to rely on, you know, having nicotine in your body. 
So it's like, I need it, I need it, I need it. I think a lot of it though too is just like, it's a reaction to like anxiety. And what people don't realize is when you're smoking a cigarette or you're smoking a vape, you're accidentally controlling your breathing. You're doing a five second inhale and a five second exhale. And some people don't even realize that you're kind of like meditating then or just doing a breathing exercise, yeah. which helps anxiety. And then they kind of confuse mm. it with, oh, this is the cigarette. Well, someone. it's also the way that nicotine works is you get a little bit of poison, right? So then, you know that feeling when you get a really uh, painful massage, but then after it feels good because you're yeah. relaxed. So that's why people feel relaxed is because you take that hit of nicotine, you get that dose of poison, it's a stimulant, it wakes you up, and then as it's leaving your body, then you're feeling relaxed because you're slowly getting that poison out. And then it's like, I need that poison again to feel relaxed from that poison. Put it like this, yeah. so we can put a stop to this. Somebody who vapes needs to get cancer. Boom, done. Oh, oh no. Solution, solution. It, there's not enough studies on it, it might happen. Once that one motherfucker gets cancer, problem solved. End the video now. I don't know. <laughs> No, but it sucks though because in the U.S. they said like they were pretty much eliminating youth tobacco use through it through the years. Like it was going down. Oh, they're doing down. a good job of it. But then Juul comes out or like products like this where it's just make it's specifically Juul, and they're just making it so attractive to the youth. And now nicotine use is skyrocketing because of Juul. Yeah, There's an app gross. for it. When you have one of those things, you have an app that can control how much smoke you get. What? Yeah, and Juul. Oh. That's why Juul got so popular. It's got an app. Hopefully, you can like hook your kids on other things like sports or something. Something that goes against nicotine usage. Or vegetables. And then they're like, you know what? This thing holds me back from being a good basketball player and they'll have another love that overrides it.